Shoemaker 2013 Watch New. Once I've finished my concept shoe, I'm now able to use a, a new feature called the relaxed shoe mode. So this enables me to take my lasted shoe and give it that on the shelf look. So the first thing I need to do is select the relaxed shoe icon, so that's down here. I'm going to select that and I get a new dialog box that opens up. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the width. So I'm just going to decrease this slightly using the sliding bar. So as I decrease this, we see the changes across here. So this gives me an idea of how much of the width that I'm changing. So the next thing I need to do is select the tongue. And as you can see, this red arrow, red cross sorry, has now changed to a green arrow as my tongue is selected. So I'm just going to increase the tongue drop. So this is moving this further down into the shoe so the tongue looks like it's uh, relaxed into the shoe. So the next thing that I'm going to change, which is the last thing, is the lower limit. So this is this uh, orange, orange rectangle sorry, that runs around the entire length of the shoe. So this controls how much uh, relaxation is above or below it. So below it there should be very little relaxation and above it uh, we should have all of the relaxation going on. So I'm just going to uh, lower this slightly and then I'm going to accept those changes. Okay, so you can see that all of these changes have been made and you can see that the shoe has widened this area here, this tongue has dropped down and we get a generally more uh, wider, more relaxed looking shoe. So the final feature that I'm going to show you for the relaxed shoe is this icon here. So this enables me to toggle between the relaxed and unrelaxed views. So all I need to do is select this and the relaxed view will turn off but it's saved within there. So all I need to do to get the relaxed shoe back is just to simply reselect that icon. Okay. So that is the uh, the relaxed shoe feature in Shoemaker 2013.